We'll just get there. Damn these people. Hey, Roman. Who is steroid tip? Brucey! Have you met my cousin, Nico? This is Brucey. We met online. Oh, loveme.net? Ha! <laughs> no! In a dark corner, doing dark deeds. We're both players, my friend. Players. VIP. For real. Classy. But also sexy. Hmm. That's how I like my women. I work at it, so they should too, right? <laughs> yeah. What is he talking about? Bruce is a dreamer. Uh -huh. He understands my vision. <laughs> oh, so he's an idiot. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Screw you! Listen, man, you should try going online. Uh, I know how to go on the line. I just haven't done it here. <laughs> of course. Technophobe. Ludite. We gotta get you online. It's a world of opportunities. Such as? All kinds of things. Yesterday, I was online, and I discovered a blog about women who don't like to shave. That's pretty important. Listen, I promised Brucey I'd go out with him. Can you go out and get it sorted? Uh, okay. Go to Twat and register on one of the PCs there. A pretty girl is expecting you. I'm bored of not being able to email your cousin, and the family keeps sending me news for you. Brucey, yeah! stop Let's... exercising. Okay. Let's put some bitches to the sword. VIP style, come on! He's a cool guy. Narovna to milku. The dobjem preko interneta. Mislish da sam lut? So guys, your boy Kim Lawrence to make a date. Just a little bit more. Coming back at y'all some more GTA 4 gameplay. So look at this, baby. Look at this, baby. So that mission we got introduced to my boy Bruce. Now, if you played GTA 5, you probably most damn forgot who the fuck Bruce was, unless you have the, unless you completed the fucking Diamond Casino heist. But let me, Bruce is the nigga that wants to say he bull shark to bull shark to Y'all remember that shit? When GTA 5 online first fucking came out. And they used to call you every 30 seconds trying to sell you a box of fucking chocolate or whatever the fuck you were selling. It's really hey steroids. There. My name's Nico. My cousin, he told me to come here. Roman, he called me about you. He's so funny. I set you up on that computer already. It's easy. Just follow the instructions on there, okay? I'm surprised they didn't let her let you have her as a like a romance option. Because you can date online on this game, which is pretty fucking cool. Another reason. The they took out relationships because people thought the relationships in this game was too annoying. But the thing is, they were realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. You can go on the, you can go on the fucking website, find females or males. I was confused. Fuck you. Um, find females or males. And uh, I don't think you can really make Nico gay. I never tried to talk to any more of these people. But what I think you can use this website for is Tra uh, trapping the guys and killing them. And kill them and take their cars or whatever. But the females you can date like fucking Jun Jun Jennifer. Now that, that one right there. The black girl is fucked what happened to her. And you will see it in a in another playthrough when I get to it. Uh, fuck. Uh. Yeah, and the other girls there's, there's, like, there's like, you can date like a fucking Russian chick. Fucking uh this is a Russian chick, some fucking oh, they bro the fucking details, the fucking details in this game. Like there's one female who actually stalks you if you date her. If you, if you, if, if Nico you drops again, dick Roman. on this crazy bitch, she will actually go out of her fucking way. She go out of her way to follow you on other dates if you cheat on her. Or you can be loyal to her, but <laughs> who wants to do that? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. I have set up the email account. But each and every girl, I am now just like online saying. in Liberty City, Roman. Thanks, Foscat. Did you meet the girl who works there? Nice pair of pieces there, you know? Later on. But yeah, each and every girl on this game has fucking uh, little cheat codes that come with them if you max out their friendships. Just like in San Andreas. So some bitches can come with, um, she can drop off health packs to you. I think one bitch on the one woman, I bet she can like source vehicles to you. And I can't remember what the other one was. It's like four or five girlfriends you can have. Yeah, whatever was a doctor, they don't, I think they don't take money from you when you, after you die. 
one of them is a I think one of them is a police officer. You don't get, you get your weapons back after you get arrested. All right, my man, Nico. How's it going? Okay. You and Batman got any more work you need help with? The funny thing you should mention, that's not my brother. Batman is right in principle with what you're doing for I and I. He wants to know if you want to deliver some package around town to some various people and things in the city. Plenty of car in that for you, you know. That sounds good. Wicked man, give me a call when you're ready for this first run. There'll be a lot of work, so call whenever, you know? One love, Bridget. See, now think about that. A whole game just listening to that. Him and Batman. Him and Batman over and over again. Just him and Batman. Hello. Hello. Uh, is Mikael home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me that I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? After you walk into a village, and you see 50 children, all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh! You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> what did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Let, let me get some feedback. Do you guys like it when I add the Sigma male theme to <laughs> Nico's dark speeches? I mean, I know I'm kind of taking the seriousness out of them, but that was pretty fucking dark. The dude just got done really explaining. Like that, in one town, in one village that he raided in the war, he had to chop off, I mean, him and his group chopped off the hands of 30 boys and slit their throats against the church wall. Like, hey, god damn, nigga, like, this story was fucking dark. I mean, I, I, I kind of cool how they lighten it up, but at the same time, with GTA 5, that was cool. But damn. 
Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo. Windmill, park up inside. Sweet sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, take it to the explosion. It'll blow up roots. Maybe you'll be careful. Drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating rounds. Nico, Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving the truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. Yeah. Yeah, let me know if y'all like the little Sigma male speech thing. Cause I know I do. I, I, I couldn't like tune up or resist to put it in where he killed blood. Ça me rappelle cet enfoiré de gamme Il habite au-dessus, sa femme est parfois mâchée Il possède une moto qu'il m'a jamais prêté Ce qu'il obsède, c'est son mère qu'au même qu'il n'a pas fait Il y a un feeling de Russian trap music Y'all feeling it? Y'all not feeling it? Let me know in the comment section Shit, I always love that cutscene, boy That shit is just The way that car flips over and the fucking people just Just fucking die Yeah, that shit's funny as shit Yeah, I'm gonna I'm end the video after this uh, this next phone call with my Kyle Faustian. And I'll get to y'all tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but I, I, later with another um, part. Another walkthrough. I love y'all niggas sections. Pick the harder down. Where you want to go, Hefe? So can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? Nobody knows this city better than me. I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice-cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me? 